So in 1934, this French entomologist August Magnin calculated that bee flight was aerodynamically impossible. But the honeybees didn't care what Magnon thought. They kept flying anyway. This story has fascinated me since I first heard it as a child. I mean, it's a real-life example of magic. A, a testable and observable phenomenon that was just scientifically impossible. It wasn't until fairly recently, I mean like 2005, that an American bioengineering professor named Michael Dickinson used some high-speed cameras and robotic models and he finally figured out what was going on. It turns out that the honeybees flapping wings actually create lift by like twisting and creating vortexes or vortex eye or vortices or air current thingies. Although their wings beat at a constant rate, and I mean like 230 times a second, they can adjust how far their wings move and thus get more power to carry heavy loads back to the hive. Now aerodynamically speaking, and, and I know I have no right to speak that way, but this method of producing lift is not at all conventional. The honeybee's wing muscles have evolved quite differently from other flying insects, like this wasp, who flaps its wings more like a bird. The honeybee is a very unique species in many different ways, including the way it flies. It just took us a while to realize this. I suppose the bees have known it all along though, because they didn't seem to care what Dickinson thought either. Remember my last video on robbing behavior? No? Uh, go ahead, I'll, I'll wait. Hopping behavior is an interesting glimpse into what honeybees can do in the air. Consider that they're all after one thing, a bunch of honey that's open and unprotected. These bees are all from several different colonies and are all frantically competing against each other for that resource. Here's some bees trying to rob from an open window at our packing plant. Uh, sorry ladies, we don't serve your kind here. I mean, look at them! Hundreds of individuals flying through three-dimensional space, and not a collision in sight. Think about that next time you're stuck in traffic. Kind of gives me hope about the possible future of the flying car, actually. What's even more incredible is that these bees can carry more than their own body weight in nectar, pollen, and or water as they're flying around. I mean, I know I'm not as agile when I'm carrying over 200 pounds on me. Regardless of knowing how they do it or not, uh, honeybee flight is still magical to me. The, the whole life form is enchanting, mystical somehow, and the more I learn about them, the stronger that sensation becomes. And I, I hope you find them as fascinating as I do.